Welcome back to Iterace. This is week 57, day 4. Actually, it's day 5. Um, day 4, the data got corrupted, so I wasn't able to upload the video. So, in that case, I'll just replay the matches from that video on this one. Alright, we'll start with this one. We have their Jafar right here. Double Pantage, Savage Pantage. Alright, make sure our settings are on so you guys can see the badge. Alright, let's begin. Pleasant dreams. So basically, Savage Pantage teams, they're all about splash damage. We hear they actually use the fact that they get hurt by the trap uh, for Wings of Mercy later on. They don't move on phase 2. Wait to phase 3 for Ball Tower. And then attack our Erika. Because Jafar's weapon has Poison Strike on it. He's able to lower Erika's enough attack, so second he's able to take her out. And uses his second dancer to go straight for Sothis. I said advantage units rely all about on taking advantage of the enemies already been hurt. Hmm. I don't actually enjoy savage vantage strategies or vantage units at all. It's just too risky. Uh, any hardy baron could just kill you by accident, so just I prefer tanking strats, but panty strats are also very useful, so it's no denying that. Alright, here we just take the ether, dance to far, and take out Yun. Since um, the far button also prevents. Um, range is from attacking or mages to countering. All right, next one we got this one. We actually got three kills on this one. I'm actually gonna turn off the animations for combat and support since they do seem to be taking their time. All right, here they have. Forgot. Let's put on the team. Their Fjorn, Steady Stats 3, <coughs> and Distance Defense, Standard Air with Drive Attack, with Drive Defense, their Mikaya with an IO Shield, and Peony with Fury and Drive Speed. Drive speed. Alright, so here they're trying to beat out the air, both airs as well as unit with their Fjorn. But they didn't count on Erika having a rally. And since she has passed, she just goes straight through and killed their dancer. Of course, uh, Fjorn is still able to take out one air, but not a second one. The ball tower actually helps Mikaya be able to take out Erika. And they retreat farther. Here they're forced to sacrifice an air since they don't actually have anything that can attack her safely. They put the 
Micaiah to draw out Puny. The backup because that air has um, Iceberg ready, so she would have killed Micaiah. And then they just move. They don't go for the kill since they actually want to at least get one ether. One ether pot, so take out the ether pot and finish out our unit. Alright, and for the last team. They're actually gonna be using Leaf. Leaf is pretty good for Gale Force strats. I actually have used Leaf before like that. So Fjorn with Speed Rest, Attack Death with Spawn. So full plus five to all stats. Freaking Pulse, just since he's not running um, a drink. All right. We just set up again, trying to go going from the left side to avoid Erica. Unlike the other ones, they actually have a way to attack, so they go for it. Withdraw. Here, Erica won't rally like last time because. She doesn't have anyone that she could have attacked. Back up a little bit, leave Fion in place to be able to take out our range units. Alright. Now, to leave Brave Weapons, they take out Sothis. The Gale Force and move him to take out Yun. And they switch, but again, Yun goes for Azura. They take her out, and just like last time, they forget that Erika is just too strong. And same thing happened at last time. She uses pass and goes straight for the healer. Uh, again, since he has a brave weapon and gale force, they would take a it would take advantage of that to be able to kill us, but they weren't able to take both eaters. Alright, now time for today's battle. We'll double up. Okay, this seems pretty simple. I uh, don't see infantry pulse, so don't really have to worry about arm. Uh, let me see. I don't see any guidance. So that arm should not be able to reach us over here. One, two, one, two, one, two. Alright, so we should just be able to put Fjorm right here and call it a day. Again, we'll run our double dancer team with Fjorm. I'm so glad that Fjorm is a bonus unit this week. I love using, being able to use Fjorm. Alright, so one, one, two, three. Alright. Shouldn't be any problem with this. The fact that he actually built a wall over here makes it easier to keep our units safe. And since he doesn't want Dancer, there's no chance of him breaking through. Orders, please. I'll actually, we'll turn on the animations for this. Alright, we'll go straight for the ether. Right back over here and enter. Robin. Alright, let's 
One down. En comisión. That's two down. Should be Ryoma next. And we ether. Cool. Um, should attack us next turn. As you say. Again, no wings of mercy, so no need to worry about anything. We can you. move a little out of the way. Here comes on. And Sotis. This is why run uh, steady stands for. Don't ever have to worry about the enemy charging specials on me. Alright, we can just put Fjorm right here. Move our units back like this. No attacks, but because we got ether. Oh, he's survived with one. And their Fion also survives. Very good. But that's pretty much it. We're able to finish him off now. Should we? Eh, we'll just let him finish himself off. Yep, won't be able to survive a second ether. Alright, and that's it for day five. Pretty easy battles again. I mean, Fjorm is just too much. Plus, his units did not all his units had seals and everything, so it wasn't a very good uh, setup team. But that's it. Tier 24. Uh, we will most likely not gonna be making tier 27 this week, but we should hopefully make tier 26. Uh, 1300 points, 706, we should make tier 26 at the very least, but that's it, thank you for watching, I'll see you all next time, bye!